Middle East History at Columbia University, Mr. Richard Bullitt. Mr. Bullitt writes about Muslim religious politics. Week, we are having a perfect example of traditional hospitality. Um, being a rather traditional person, I prefer this version to that version. But I can see that it was important that the important people on this evening's programs finish their talks and leave before the man from Columbia got up because you can never quite predict what he's going to say. Uh, I do not see anyone in the room who has any of the signs of being a cruel and petty dictator. Uh, although I haven't checked to see if all of the Columbia deans are present uh, or not, so I may have missed some opportunity, but I don't think so. Uh, last year when I spoke, I spoke as a friend of the Turkish Cultural Center, and that is how I speak tonight. It is a wonderful institution. Uh, last year I observed that Ramadan is a marvelous uh, experience for people who are able to do it, which I am not. Turkish food is wonderful food. Peace is what we all want in the world. And I was also able to uh, point out that we had a program last year that was unique in that it began with welcoming remarks from the FBI. Uh, the welcoming remarks from the New York City Police Department have now been moved lower in the program, but of course uh, we are happy to have them as well. So other than commenting on what a wonderful moment of friendship this is, and looking forward to the music later in the program and appreciating the excellent music we had during the dinner, uh, all I can say is Hosh Gelden is, and I hope to see you all again next year. Thank you very much. Mr. Haldun Yavash will present uh, Ms. Professor Bullitt with his gift at this time. Serving a third term, Mr. Jonathan Bing brought an, brought an accomplished history of fighting for community members' health and well-being to the State Assembly. Mr. Bing was first elected to the Assembly in November 2002 from the 7th... It's my pleasure to represent the Turkish Center in the State Legislature. Um, really, it's this week we were reminded of the importance of this neighborhood and where the Turkish Center is in its relationship with the world. This neighborhood really is the gateway to the world. It's the neighborhood that you, many of you see as you arrive in New York and as you leave New York. So we are, it's, it's really my pleasure and my with pride that I represent this neighborhood in the state legislature because we are to many the gateway to the world. Um, I'm also proud to represent many Turkish Americans and to have visited Turkey six years ago to have visited Istanbul, to have visited the countryside on the way to Gallipoli, and to have been able to see the overlap and the tremendous uh, involvement of different cultures interacting within the city of Istanbul and within the countryside. Um, also representing many Turkish Americans, uh, Turkish Americans have provided uh, such a great uh, benefit to this country, whether it's founding Atlantic Records, whether it is uh, being on Oprah on a regular basis providing medical advice uh, and perhaps more importantly to my upbringing serving as regular cast members of Beverly Hills 90210 and also Baywatch. So Turkish Americans have had a tremendous impact on the entertainment as well as many other medical and other communities. Um, finally, it's, uh, it's so important in this day that we live that Turkey remains the beacon of democracy that it has for many years. Um, it is important that we continue the relationship that the United States and Turkey has had. And uh, as a representative of the Turkish Center and of many Turkish Americans, uh, I look forward to continuing my relationship with the community for many years to come. Thank you.
I ask Mr. Fetin Kazanji to please... Uh... Oldest and most unique locations in the world, where throughout history, mankind has tried to attain the infinite possibilities of human innovation. It is a showcase of God's grace, filled with physical and spiritual bounties. Sound, water, and a sun, as well as the aesthetic.